Well, hey, folks, Brian here. Welcome back to Wax Trash Treasures. Nice to see you. Nice to be seen. Always great to be part of your day. Today, as I film this, it is the 4th of November, and Halloween was, oh, I guess that means about four days ago. One of the things that means is that Halloween-themed items are going to be on discount, including this pack of Trick or Trade Pokemon cards. These come from uh, I bought this pack, this box pack thing envelope at Michael's. Uh, it was $7 as opposed to the 15 that it normally lists for. Now, I'm not normally a big Pokemon guy, but I do love buying and opening overprinted crap. And thank God for Pokemon because it fits that definition, doesn't it? Uh, I figured we'd go through here. We'd see which of the cards we pull. There are 10 hollow, uh, is it called Cosmo hollow, uh, cards available in here. And uh, it comes from, a, it's a 30-card set that's in the Trick or Trade Booster Bundle this year in 2024. Most of them are going to be completely worthless, but hey, at a steep discount, like half off, which is what I got it at, uh, you know, maybe we'll get some decent deals. Uh, I will not be opening this uh, except for the first pack at regular speed. I'm going to speed through them. I'm going to speed up the video. You're going to listen to some uh, some dope tunes in the background, and then we'll come back together when it's all over. So let's see what we get. All right, uh, there are 35 packs in this package. These are designed to be a replacement for Halloween candy, and honestly, like, as much as it's fun to make fun of overpriced, overprinted cards, anything that, you know, replaces Halloween candy is uh, pretty good in my in my deck. Um, there are, uh, like I said, uh, there are 35 packs in here. Each pack contains three cards. So three Pokemon cards in here. Two of them will be base. One of them will be hollow. The one uh, that's the hollow will always be the one in the middle. So let's see. We got uh, Fue Coco. Here's all our hollow. It's Ogre Pond, a teal mask Ogre Pond. There you go. Pop him up there. Oh, God, he fell down. And uh, then uh, Pumpkaboo. All right, great. So let's go through the rest of these packs. Uh, when, we're, when we're all done, we'll come out together. Really, I'm going to tell you, honestly, the hollows are the only ones that matter. Uh, but let's see where it goes. Stick tight, and uh, I'll see you in a couple minutes. <laughs> As we come together for the last couple of packs, you may have noticed that there is a bit of a pattern here in the order of the Cosmic Hollow cards. Uh, they seem to pretty much repeat themselves as we go through. I'm pretty sure that means that my next card is going to be a Flutter Main. Let's see if I get that right. No, Pikachu. All right. Well, at any rate, um, as you can see, there's not a whole lot to actually you know, uh, discover in this set. There are only 30 cards. There are no 
super rares. There are no, you know, outside the checklist, outside the numbering cards here. Uh, everybody is going to get, if you buy a box of these, like I said, for $7.50 or whatever at Michael's, you're going to get all 10 of the Cosmic Hollows. You're going to get three of each of those 10 cards because there are 35 packs. You'll get four of a couple of them. I think I got four Pikachus. I know I got four Monkey Dories. Uh, it looks to me, as I've gone through uh, what's available on the internet, it looks to me like the Gengars and the Dark Rise are the ones worth pulling if you want to flip these cards. At $6 for a box, uh, if you can get three of each and sell them for three bucks a piece, well, you're you're going to come out ahead financially, but, you know, then you got to deal with fees and all that. Um, really, it's just sort of a silly rip. These are designed, like I said, to replace candy in kids' candy buckets for Halloween, and that's pretty much what they're good for. These are, you know... Um, like most, like most candy, they are empty calories. They have no nutritional value. They have no value value beyond the moment. And um, you know, maybe some people like some of them other than others. I gotta say, I'm a big fan of Mimikyu myself. But different strokes are different folks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.